love Phil Ernest at the waterfall on the Bridge to Nowhere hike. You are looking at the parking lot for the Bridge to Nowhere trailhead. The parking lot's very small, so the spots fill up very quickly, so you may have to plan on parking alongside of the road. Since there isn't a physical address I could give you, just Google Bridge to Nowhere trailhead. 12 minutes into the hike, you'll see the last and only restrooms on the trail. The hike today is to Bridge to Nowhere. It is a nine mile round trip hike with a 1,000 foot elevation gain. Just after looking at the map, we are now on the hiking trail, heading towards the water crossing. 15 minutes into the hike, we're now hiking along the water, getting ready for our first crossing. 20 minutes into the hike, you'll come upon this big tree on the trail. And now we're getting ready for our first water crossing. In the summer months, the water level isn't as high. This video was shot in late March. One of my favorite things about this hiking trail is it tends to change just about at every turn. Now we're hiking over rocks. We are now 32 minutes into this hike as we come to the graffitied wall and we're getting ready for yet another water crossing. Since this hike has so many water crossings, I recommend two things. One, bring shoes that you don't mind getting wet. And two, wear wool socks. They will dry faster. At this point of the hike, we are 40 minutes into our hike. 45 minutes into the hike, we're getting ready for our third water crossing. If you're finding this video informative, please give it a thumbs up. And please hit that logo on the lower right hand corner of the screen to subscribe to the channel. We are now 50 minutes into this hike and right now I'm going to show you the importance of having hiking poles whenever hiking. Look at this gentleman right there. Notice how he uses his pole to keep him from falling face first into the water. We're now one hour and five minutes into this hike as we go under this pretty cool tree shaped like an arch. Sometimes on this trail, it can be a little challenging following the trail when you're hiking on the rocks. We are now one hour and 10 minutes into this hike and we're no longer as confined within the canyon as we were before. As you can see, it's a little bit more opened up now. As we get ready to cross over the bridge, we're now in a part they call Sheep Mountain Wilderness. I'm an hour and 25 minutes into this hike and getting ready for yet another water crossing. It's at this point I've decided I'm going in search of Devil's Gulch Waterfall, a waterfall I visited about 10 years ago with the hiking group. But now I want to see if I can find it by myself. So in order to find it, I know I will have to continue hiking straight up into the river until I see a traverse and then follow that straight up to the waterfall. I'm now two and a half hours into this hike and I have a very good feeling I'm getting closer to the waterfall. This is sad and disturbing to see graffiti on the hiking trail. So after hiking a little more than two and a half hours, I finally hit this big rock. This is where I will turn left and continue hiking right on up the creek to the waterfall. From here, it's about a seven minute hike. And finally, there it is, Devil's Gulch, right through the tree branches. For whatever reason, as many people that hike to the Bridge to Nowhere on the weekends, very few people come to this waterfall. Now I'm going to get into the water and stand close to this waterfall so you can have a better understanding on how tall this waterfall actually is. When I see this waterfall with all its green around it, it looks like something you would see in a movie set or find in an exotic island. Now that I've had enough fun with the waterfall, it's time to hike to the bridge to nowhere. See these stacked rocks? That's telling you that you're on the trail. It used to be possible to hike straight on up the creek to the bridge to nowhere, but now they've put these signs prohibiting it. But there is a trail from the creek going straight on up to the trail to the bridge to nowhere. From here, turn left and you're about 200 yards from the bridge. 
At this time, I would like to give you a little history about the Bridge to Nowhere. The Bridge to Nowhere is a bridge located literally in the middle of nowhere in the Sheep Mountain Wilderness. The bridge was built in 1936 when they were building a road connecting the San Gabriel Valley to Wrightwood. However, a massive flood in 1938 due to an extreme heavy rain destroyed the road in construction. So they decided to abandon the project, leaving a perfectly finished bridge lost in the middle of nowhere. Now a company called Bungee America owns the land and does bungee jumping off of the 100 foot bridge. If you would like to see my other hikes in the Southern California area, please click on the link now. Thank you so much for watching.